Hello everyone, welcome to Career Talk. Today's topic is what is a bigger mistake? Staying in a company in your comfort zone for a very long time or hopping too many jobs frequently? Yes, today we are going to talk about these two scenarios. So let's first identify how to know that you are in a comfort zone. Okay, you are in a comfort zone if you are working in the same technology, same process, same project, same customer, same manager for a very long period of time. Okay, now how do you define a long period of time? Anything which is beyond two years is a long period of time. So let's say if you're working on the same technology stack, if you're working on the same process, same project, same customer, same manager, two years, it is about time to find something new. Okay, so that is your comfort zone. If you give yourself more than two years, then you will become a pro at all of these things. You will know customers, you will know managers, you will know stakeholders, you will have made good relationships. You will know the technology stack, you will know the business process. So there will be nothing which will be challenging to you. So there will be nothing new to learn. Okay. If you get anything new to learn or some find something challenging to do, then yes, you may consider staying over there, but otherwise you are in the comfort zone. It is time to get into something new. Now, when I say something new, it does not necessarily mean that you have to change your job. You can also find jobs internally within the same company, jobs or roles which will make you learn new things or challenge you to do better things. For example, I am working in a company for last 15 years and I am staying in the same company because I have got different roles, different jobs to do over a period of time. Okay, So I have grown internally, that is why I have stayed with the same company. But if you think you have spent more than two years in the same role doing same things uh, and you don't find anything challenging, then yes, it is time to find something new internally or externally. So that brings us to the second part of the topic, which is hopping jobs. Now I have seen people who have hopped 10 jobs within four years. Okay, seriously, I have seen CVs where people have hopped or changed jobs every 1.5 years or every two years or maybe within six months. I fail to understand why people do so. So the primary reason may be salary that they get a better salary package so they switch jobs but believe me at some point in time you will reach a peak okay. by hopping jobs you will probably reach your peak sooner so you won't know what to do because after that you have so many job hops on your CV that people will probably be very careful or cautious before they hire you. The biggest drawback of hopping jobs is that it gives a very different color to your profile and people after reading your profile can make out that they cannot trust you for longer duration projects. Okay, so be very careful with that. And I will give you three, four reasons which you should consider before hopping or before changing your job. Reason A is you get an opportunity made in heaven. You get an opportunity which has 100% hike or maybe more than 100% hike the kind of role that you want or the skill that you want to work for or the company that you want to work for your dream company something like that then yes go for it and change your job okay or if you have a problem internally with your boss which you are not able to resolve or with the company policy you know there are things going on which you are not able to resolve and you are fed up okay I understand you should change your job. All right, or if you think you are truly deserving candidates, you deserve a promotion or a you know role change, and you have been promised two three times over the last two three years, you have been told you will get a promotion, but you are not getting it. Probably that is one reason why you can change your job. But otherwise, just changing your job every two three years will not get you anywhere. Okay, remember that you can probably change your job two times or three times for the sake of salary, but beyond that. There is no road. It's going to become very difficult because in order to grow, you will need stability. In order to grow, you will need to make relationships and networking. Okay. And that has to happen within the company as well as outside the company. So you need to give yourself some time to learn new things. What is happening in the market? Prove yourself, understand, get experience and then move to the next layer. Okay. Just hopping jobs will not cut the deal. So both things, staying in your comfort zone and not doing anything new or changing lot of jobs frequently are not good. Okay, you have to take a very balanced approach. And by the time you reach 8 to 10 years of experience, you should have matured enough to decide a pace or decide a direction in which your career will grow. I hope this was helpful guys. I'll see you next week in another video. Take care. Bye for now.